Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood. And instead of a project or a video on how to, this is going to be a, a video about how we make light burn better. Do you have an idea that you would like to see in light burn? Stay tuned. If you have an idea that will genuinely make light burn better, more user friendly, or just add a really great free feature to the, the software, they listen. Um, I've, I've mentioned it uh, before in several different videos, but when I went to late the light burn uh, experience in Peoria, East Peoria, back in October, I did get to meet face to face with a few of the programmers and, and the developers. And there are several features that are coming out in version 1.5 that I suggested and they implemented. And a few of them they actually implemented right then and there. So it was pretty quick to see how fast they can make things happen. So if it's a good idea and it's, and it's doable, they'll listen and uh, can make those things happen. So I've got another idea and I need you if you think it's something that you would appreciate or would use, and I think once you see what you do or how how it, my suggestion would work, you'd be like, oh yeah, that'd be nice to have. Well, the more of us that go to the Light Burn Forum and go to these suggestions and vote for them, we'll get the attention of the developers. The developers do look at it. But the ones that have those highest count vote, you know, of, hey, yeah, we want to see that. That shows how much of an interest is there, and they'll look even harder about trying to implement those changes and or suggestions. So my idea right now, my latest one, is to have a rotation randomizer. <laughs> if you create an array... All of those items that you create are going to be kind of in a stagnant position as far as you can you can offset them by half or you can have them in a perfect columns and rows or you know offset them and have them in kind of a checkerboard format but if it's a finger like that pointing straight up all of them are going to be just like that all throughout your array well I do with my my photo frames when I put people's names on the frames or if it's the dog prints, whatever, well, I'll use the array tool to help create a pattern to go on the face of the frame. But to break it up and give it some character, I then go into those individual pieces of the array and then start to randomly rotate them. Some of them upside down, some of them, you know, 90, 60, 30, just random rotations. And I think that would be a really neat tool to, or feature to have is in your array tool, have a random, a rotation, a random rotation ability. Uh, and then if it couldn't be done in the array tool, then it's a standalone tool by itself. And we could take it a step further, kind of like the, the Boolean assistant. You have the ability to look at the outcome before you accept it. So if it was a separate tool, and it might this would be even better if it's a separate tool, you select the entire array and then you hit a button for a random rotation output. Then you can see the preview. Do you like it? Nope. Hit that random rotation again and it spit something different out. Don't like that one? Hit it again and spit something different. That's the one I want except now the tool's gone. So let's jump in here to Lightburn and show you kind of what I'm talking about just in case you don't follow my suggestion. Then I'm gonna show you where to go and how to vote for these suggestions. And if you've got an idea, this is where you need to go and submit your idea. But before you do, look and make sure someone hasn't already suggested that same idea 
And if they have, then you can vote for it. And it, that way it keeps from having five different listings of the same thing. Make sure your idea is not already in that suggestion list and vote for it if it is. But let's jump over here to Lightburn and take a look at what I'm talking about. So if you got, uh, let's, let's get rid of my camera here. Camera, uh, don't show. All right, there we go. So if we got a fire, so ignore the fire trucks in the background. And if they come busting through the door, we know we didn't need to ignore it. All right, art library. Uh, let's see here. Dogs. Nope, let's see. Uh, I think it was in the pet feeder. I'm looking for my paw print. I've got a paw print somewhere. Ba -ba -ba. There we go. Okay. So I've got this single dog print. And put it on a field mode. Oh, got a bunch of random junk on there. I thought all that was gone. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So you create an array. When you create the array, you can select the columns, how many columns you want, how many rows you want. I'm on rows. There we go. You can increase your X spacing and your Y spacing. And if you decide, you know what, I want to have a... Uh, I want to, instead of them being perfect columns, let's offset by half. And you can change that spacing up and say, well, I don't want to go that way. I need to go that way. Okay. Now, in 1.5, one of the features I already suggested and they've already implemented is somewhere on here you have the ability to select the resulting array. Right now, in 1.4, when you say OK, you're right back to your original piece. But they've already fixed it in 1.5 so that you can select that entire re array as your selection once you say OK. And that's handy whenever you've done an array and it's already over a bunch of stuff and you don't have to start trying to go in and pick out just the array. So that's a good feature to have in 1.5. But now what I would like to see is if you could, when you've got the entire array selected, be able to open up a tool that will randomize the rotation on the center point of each of these individual pieces. Now, that paw print is a single object. So it would randomly rotate that object on its axis. And this is what you have to do now if you want to break that up. And you see how that's starting, to me, that's starting to look better. Uh, if you want it to look like it's been trampled on and uh, stepped on by a bunch of random dogs running back and forth all over the place. And by having it truly random, it would probably even actually look better than anything that you could put up there because uh, you're in the, when you're doing each individual piece, like what's it there? Didn't mean to. I didn't pay any attention to these above, but I started to do that one the same way and it been not so random. I, you, to, a, a truly random a rotation that's controlled by the computer would probably give you a much better outcome. I didn't mean to shrink that one. I meant to rotate it. Undo. There we go. get some upside down here but you're getting the, you're getting starting to get the idea uh, and if this was going on my picture frame once I've done all that and I've created that entire array and I can group it and say my picture frame uh, I'm not even gonna bother importing it in we're just gonna draw out something real quick
So if my picture frame was something like this, group that Now I'm going to make that array a little bigger. Uh, come on now. Well. There we go. See how those paws there, they did not get randomly rotated. And it doesn't look nearly as good as these paw prints that are just randomly rotated all over the place. So to have the ability for it to do that, where you could select the entire array and have it do all the rotating and flipping and flopping for you, and give you a truly random result would be a real nice feature to have. So where do you make these suggestions and how do you vote for these suggestions? Well, if we go over to, dun, 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 the lightburnsoftware.com or forum.lightburnsoftware.com. And I'll put this link in the description below. This is the homepage for the forum.lightburnsoftware.com. This is where they put all the announcements and, and questions and feedback and uh, upcoming events, that kind of stuff. But where do you make the suggestions? Up here in the top right of the menu, feature suggestions. You click on that. Now it's going to come over here and give you all these different suggestions that folks have put out there. And here is just, you know, a, a couple of dozen. And you can see a lot of these have just got singular votes. There's one with six votes. Um, two votes, four votes, but a, six votes. Wood grain generator. Don't know why I want a wood grain generator when I'm cutting on wood. Um, but, hey. Whoever suggested that had something that they were doing that maybe they're doing MDF and they want to print a wood grain on it. But this is where you go to see uh, for you know suggestions and make suggestions. And if you have a suggestion and you want to see if it's out there, uh, like here I start typing rotation. If I type it correctly, here's all of the different suggestions out there that have to do with rotaries, rotations. And you kind of scroll through there and look and see if somebody hasn't already made the same suggestion. And then if you don't see it, then you can come over here and start typing what you would like to see. And then it will create that entry for you. And then people can come in and take a look and see, hey, I like that idea. I'd, like, I'd really like to see that. Well, here is my rotation randomizer. And I put in there, when creating an array, it would be nice to have an optional rotation randomizer for objects in the resulting array. Currently, you can do a lot of things with the array positioning, but I find myself more often than not selecting every item in the resulting array and rotating each and every item. It would be nice to have a button that would rotate the items randomly, either when creating the array or afterwards. It would be nice to have a button that would rotate the items randomly. Did I just say that same sentence? Yes, I did. It, it may be easier to make it a separate tool or possibly have it available as both. A feature in the array creation and the separate tool. You could select a large group of individual items and have each individual item rotate randomly on its center point. As a separate tool, it could possibly have a preview option that allowed you to see the end result before applying it, kind of like the Boolean Assistant. If you didn't like the suggested rotation, simply hit the random rotate button once again for a different outcome. Once you're happy, accept, and move on with your design. So, take a look at that 
And if you think that would be a cool idea, then go to the forum, find this suggestion, and to vote for these, the way you vote for them, let's go back, if you see, right above the number there, like number seven, there's an arrow. You click on that number to vote it up. So the more, vote, the more votes we get, the more likely you'll see that come to be if if it's possible. And if there's enough demand and it's possible, why wouldn't they make it happen? But sometimes it'd be nice to have things and it, and it just ain't doable. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. The link to the forum will be in the more section or the, the description of the video below. Go over to the forum, find this, vote for it. Let's get this, get their attention and make it happen. So guys, I'm Steve, Hubbo with Wood. Now you know where to improve light burn or make the suggestions for it. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.